Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, this is going to be a short video uh, related to topology on clothing. For example, if you are using um, Marvelous Designer for you know, to design a, an outfit, this one is just um, a, a project that I was making a custom, so uh, it's not done yet. Uh, but it, it's really easy for you to bring this to uh, Blender and from Blender start, you know, the the perfect uh, perfection, the, the the shape of the of the actual mesh and then uh, start the rigging process and put it on IMBU. Um, in this case, it's going to be two two meshes separately. Um, so uh, first of all, what what do we have here? We have a hoodie and then we have a pair of shorts. So um, what we are going to do uh, in this case, by default, right? By default, uh, we have the uh, hoodie, right? Right here. And, it, and you are going to see that, that with the animation process, it's going to be um, kind of like blocky or something like that. You can, you can, well, uh, start moving the parts so so it has that wrinkle and all the the the, the imperfections of, of the mesh right that makes it you know, more more realistic so okay we can bring this to blender how do we do that um first that you are going to do is check on the topology this means for example if we go to this little textures texture surface and we go right here where it says mesh, we can see the topology. This is, uh, and, and here you can see how the mesh looks um, in the 3D process. You will see that there's a bunch of, of, of um, triangles because it's triangulated. Uh, and we don't want this. We, we want them to be squares. So what you can do is, uh, here on the properties, right of the um, of the mesh, we select this. So, what you are going to do is select the parts from the hoodie, right? Um, go here on the property uh, editor, and we are going to select here miscellaneous. The <clears throat> instead of triangle, right? Generally, it's going to be closed um where you can go to miscellaneous uh mesh style quad and this is going to start and this is going to show the quad process of our mesh i'm going to go to file export export obj or fbx we're going to do with the fbx so i'm going to um i already exported the mesh I'm going to export it again. It's going to be muddy two, right? Uh, go to save. In here, we are going to select weld. By default, it's going to be on weld. Uh, just a single object, so it's going to be just a hoodie, and not. We never, we didn't touch the um, uh, the the UV maps because we are going to do that on Blender uh for the next video and then well the maps uh binary anything it's by default it's okay so go with okay and now we can we can move to blender okay on blender now that we are here i already tell you guys that you should download the imbu studio toolkit right this is going to be of very much helpful, uh, very much help. Um, <clears throat> whenever you want to do the quick process of, of starting clothing. So, um, why? Because it's going to have, uh, an, uh, an updated, uh, clothing file here. So every time, um, that you want to start the process, go with this. And it's going to be perfectly fine because of the weights and everything. So, okay, 
new floating tool, append floating file. I'm going to make it mail, right? We can see our mail avatar right here. Um, probably should, yeah. Uh, you will see the um, the keys that I'm pressing here, but it's going to be super fine because we don't need them. Uh, we are going to import FBX hoodie 42 import. Right now it's going to be scaled uh, really tiny, but don't worry. If we scale 10, boom, we have the shorts and the hoodie perfectly uh perfectly in the same in the spot that we want um so uh what can we do now and as you can see if we go to edit mode right from here to edit mode you can see that there's all quads right there it's all uh squares all around it and this is going to be really it's going to help us a lot whenever we want to do UV mapping. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, for now, this is going to be our short video. Uh, let me know what you think about this, this video in the comments. Um, and give it a like if you like the, um, this type of process of, of importing the, the files to Blender. Right now, we are going to stop now. But on the next on the next video, we are going to start UV mapping, do the certain thing to make it look good on on this uh, avatars. And thank you guys for watching. See you next time.